All right, we're going to look at how to select an adverse exemption day, which can be used for bad weather, an accident that causes major delays, or any unforeseen circumstance. This does not count regular traffic in metropolitan areas or delays at the shipper. Those both do not qualify for an exemption. So you're going to click on the day that you're working in. You're going to scroll to the bottom of all of your duty statuses. You can see here you have an exemptions, 16 hour short haul, and adverse. We can only use the adverse we're going to go ahead and click on adverse driving. The moment that we know we are in that kind of a situation. So once you come upon an accident that's going to delay you, once you see that weather is going to cause you to run into a problem, that's when you would claim it. Once you're through the adverse condition, you need to unclaim it or figure out how much time you've used and then that's the amount of time you can use for your adverse day. So let's say the delay was 45 minutes for a traffic accident. You would be able to add 45 minutes to your day. So 14 hours and 45 minutes of shift, 11 hours and 45 minutes of drive. So we're gonna go ahead and re apply for time, which you can see is required. It opens a clock. This is when we're applying for time, because this is when we came upon the accident. So you click OK. You do have to add a remark. None of these remarks that are pre-listed will work. So you do actually have to type in why you're using it. Hit save. Then you're going to claim it at the bottom. It tells you at the top that it is claimed. And if you were to go back to your clocks, you can see your total shift is now 1548 and your total drive is 13. Once again, you do not get to use the full two hours. You only get to use what the adverse condition caused you to be delayed. If it is a two hour delay, then you can use the entire two hours. And that's how to use adverse exemption.